We're here to celebrate the 28th annual uh, VRCA Awards of Excellence, where we're celebrating the industry's finest projects, companies and individuals. This year has been the largest set of entries in the event's history, so we received over 150 applications from nominees that covered 45 projects that in total are valued at approximately $1.3 billion, so it's the largest uh, for a long, long time. Last year was uh, roughly $500 million because of the, the stage of construction. So uh, these projects have now come on stream and uh, it provided a really tough competition in every category. There was a lot of interesting trends this year, definitely a lot Lot of wood both in materials and also in terms of design features so we saw that coming through both in public and private buildings and um, a lot of the construction was done while the site was live this year meaning that um, it might have been a transit station it might have been um, part of um, well, part of YVR and so on so while the general public is milling around and doing their thing construction is actually happening right there and then which makes it very complex for the contractor who has to be you know doubly aware of, of safety and um, and then we also saw some uh, some really innovative um, technologies coming through from both the electrical and the mechanical engineers uh, or contractors um, really uh, pushing the contractors to to be as innovative as possible and uh, help the owner get as you know much uh, much value as, as possible for their dollars so a really interesting competition this year a gala event so first and foremost we're uh, we're celebrating our industry so projects companies and individuals but it's also um, an entertaining evening too so last year we had uh, something very similar to Cirque du Soleil uh, that provided some light entertainment throughout the evening tonight we've got a 10-piece band called the famous players and they're going to play some sets in between the awards and just give us a little bit of a break and let us enjoy some entertainment at the same time so all in all it's going to be a fantastic evening this project had probably about a dozen architects. There was a lot of opinions, including the client who had their own architect on staff. Things were constantly changing. We had multiple delays, multiple design changes. Uh, I always joke you could throw a rock and hit three change orders. It was just a constant state of uh, uh, flux, and so the flexibility of our team to be able to uh, manage those changes and still execute on time and provide the building to the quality that it was supposed to achieve was, was one of our proudest moments as well. The project had a ton of uh, challenge, the first of which was that as a design team we were selected by social media by the students and the students were hands-on participants in the design. So that was the first level of complexity. It's an incredibly complex building with a lot of aspirations in terms of all the different types of spaces, the lead platinum. Uh, there were a lot of battles with the university itself in terms of the students getting the quality of work they wanted, the quality of materials. Uh, they see it as their own home. And lastly, I would say a big challenge is, I think this is one of the few uh, student unions in North America that self-financed. So the financial success of the building, all the retail, the revenue from the pub and so on, are really critical to the success of the building. So it's, it's in my own career, it's been a remarkable, unique challenge.